Okay, so the Black Ops 3 honeymoon period is over, officially. Now let's start really picking some flies with uh, with the lag in this game. Now, I thought it was actually just me who was having these issues, and this is the great thing about doing um, doing YouTube, is that you get to share these things, and if you've got you know, a good enough following, people will come back and sort of give you feedback, say, yeah, it's, it's not just you, it's all of us, we're all having these problems. And one of the things I mentioned was the fact that, you know, I was finding the hit detection was too funky it was too um, it was unreliable you know sometimes you can shoot somebody in the chest and get an instant kill sometimes you can shoot them in the chest and get no kill you know and you have to put a lot of bullets in them um, before they speed off and do something ridiculous to a teammate and then come back to you and kill you it's like weird but this gameplay in the background is something else and this is you know for years well for, for about three years while i've been doing uh, doing this channel I've been saying we need dedicated servers for Call of Duty and I think now more than ever we need dedicated servers for Call of Duty for fuck's sake. The games are so advanced in their graphics, you know, advanced in the way they play, the 60 frames a second, everything's moving on a lot quicker. And this was why I mentioned about the graphics on the Xbox 360 and the PS3 are nowhere near as clean and as crisp. It's almost like a completely different game. The graphics look absolutely terrible. And it is simply because that, you know, if they was to incorporate those kind of graphics onto, <laughs> onto that old system, it wouldn't be able to cope with it. So now that the graphics are moving on so much and now that you've got all this 60 frames a second and the games are so advanced you've got to have dedicated servers man you know it just doesn't seem to be able to cope with what it's given and still running on these you know listen servers or whatever they're called now you know it, it just doesn't you want to listen server listen to this it's fucked there i'm going to sort of highlight the, this guy who i was playing against on the other team and you'll see i don't really need to point it out it was one guy on the other team who, uh, you know, seemed to have a four bar. Everything looked fine from his end. His ping bars were, um, you know, no problem. He wasn't dropping to a three or to a two or to even a one. But it felt like he was on a one. And this guy would just, he would just appear out of nowhere. And he was lagging so bad, it was going in his favor. Lag compensation is worse than it ever has been. Um, and it seems to get worse each year, you know, Modern Warfare 3 was terrible, Black Ops 2 got worse, Call of Duty Ghost, it was a bit bad on that as well, but I don't, actually, actually I think Call of Duty Ghost, it took a step back, it's almost like it, uh, it had a, a year off, it took a year on holiday, went to Australia for a year and got some sun, and then came back with abundance on Advanced Warfare, now it's just, it's insane. That doesn't mean Sal don't like the game before people say, oh, you said you love the game and now you hate it. You're going back on your words. I knew this would happen. It's like there's no hatred towards this game whatsoever, but I'm finding the rage is kicking in quite a lot now. And it's all down to this lag compensation, this, you know, shoot first, die first thing. Every kill cam, uh, when I'm engaged in combat with somebody, every single kill cam that I watch, generally that I watch, when I see somebody and they see me, you can guarantee that that you know they're flinching. I'm getting the shots on them first, and my shots are you know I'm not that off target. I sort of shoot middle of the road, you know, chest to head. That's where my shots end up. I've had enough practice on Call of Duty over the years to uh, to ensure that my shots connect to sort of cope with the lag compensation side of things, hoping that I'll put the guy down quicker than he puts me down, even if, uh, you know, he's in the favourable part of lag compensation, if he's at the good end of it. But this guy, he was just uncopable. I couldn't deal with it. I tried everything. And it was so frustrating because it seemed to me that everybody else in this game, you know, I wasn't having any issues with. I was racking up some nice kills. I'd go on a bit of a, you know, get my streak set up. I think, great, I'm just going to call... Oh my God, there's that guy again, and he'd just appear out of nowhere. You know, he'd sort of... He'd be behind the corner and then he'd just jump in front of me. But for him, it seemed to work in his favour, you know? There was no sort of problem from his end. There was no reaction problem. It was almost like, oh, I'm going to be around this corner. If there's a guy there, he won't know about me until he's uh, until he watches the kill cam. And that was how it was. And it got to the point where the frustration kicked in so badly with uh, the standard of his internet, maybe. I don't know. That I was teabagging him. Now, the one thing I love having about a net doomer, because let me tell you something, people ask about the net doomer and say, oh, what's it like for, uh, what was it like for Advanced Warfare? What was it like for this? For Advanced Warfare, the net doomer did nothing for me. It absolutely did nothing. And for this, it's pretty much the same as well. What I can say is from the net doomer's point of view, it looks like the servers are exactly the same as they was for Advanced Warfare. So that's one thing that they've probably tried to creep out of and uh, it's took them and bit them on the arse. 
luckily with the net doomer you can localize the games you know to the host to be around you so you, that maybe helps a little bit but i just don't think the net doomer works very well with this game i don't think it works very well at all in fact i've had massive issues with my net doomer to the point where most of the time i don't use it i just uh, i just plug straight into my bt hub so yeah they seriously have got to address this. But, you know, now before people start just moving away and uh, trading this game in, because it almost feels to me like how it did when Black Ops 2 first came out. I don't know whether you remember. Um, you know, Black Ops 2 was almost unplayable in the first week. It was it was awful. And uh, I remember when they did, they'd done the first patch, which actually, they reckoned it wasn't anything to do with the connection, but, you know, reading down the list, what they normally throw up when they do some kind of patch or fix or nerf, there was nothing in there about network connection or network improvements. It was all about you know, theatre mode and stuff like that. But after that patch, there was something massively altered that made the game really playable. You know, it actually made it play as even better than what it does do today. It made it so much fun and made it work. But previous to that, I just couldn't play Black Ops 2, you know, I was getting exactly the same thing as what I'm getting now, you know, shooting people, they're flinching about and I'm dead. I don't know whether, it's, see, I made a video, this is one thing I want to pick up on. Um, when I made the video about this flinch thing, this could be something to do with it and I don't know whether it is. But I made a video a couple of months ago and I said, you know, is flinch going to be a problem in Black Ops 3? Is the flinch too much? And uh, does it not help with the lag compensation? Because I, I mentioned that I think toughness, um, you know, the toughness perk, I think it helped a little bit with the lag comp because, you know, if you saw somebody and they saw you and you started firing at each other, your gun wouldn't flinch too much. So generally most of your bullets would connect exactly where you wanted them to connect. And I think it did help out maybe a little bit. It's just a theory, you know, I'm just throwing ideas out there. You know, I'm just spitballing. But I honestly believe that the flinch maybe is a little bit, um, you know, contributory towards this shoot first, die first thing. Because if you think about it, if you're shooting somebody in the chest and, uh, you know, they're aiming at your chest sort of mid midway, mid drift to your body, and you're shooting them in the chest or shooting them in the stomach and their gun flinches up, where's it going to go? It's going to get to your fucking head. <laughs> so most of the time people are getting headshots on me when I shoot them first. It's almost like you're getting penalised for getting that first shot in. Something to think about there, you know, for those people who said, no, flinch is fine, we need to have flinch. Do we really? I had this issue with uh, Modern Warfare 2 a lot of the time, you know. I'd shoot people, their gun would flinch up so much, it would just take my head clean off my shoulders and leave me as a, I don't know, headless stump. So, in all seriousness, they have got to fix this and they've got to fix it soon. If there is a fix for this and maybe there was holding back on it, um, like I said before, just to show people, hey, we are on the ball, look, we've sorted this issue out. We do listen to you. But uh, it seems to me that 98% of the comments that I read and 98% of the videos that I watch and the comments on there, people are saying exactly the same thing. The lag compensation is terrible and the shoot first, die first, people coming around corners. It, 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 there's, there's problems. It's too inconsistent. Sometimes it feels great and then you go into the next game and it feels well. Mind you, in saying that, sometimes even in the same game, you know, I've started off games and I've, I've gone round and I've killed six, seven, eight people in a row and I think, bloody hell, this is going to be an immense game. And then all of a sudden... It just changes, you know, the click of a finger just changes and you can't buy a kill. Yeah, I said that before and I still stand by that. So they need to fix this pronto before people start losing interest and trading the game in saying that they just can't play it. And we're going to have another advanced warfare on our hands. And I simply don't think I can deal with that for another year of Call of Duty. I, ca I can't deal with that. I like this game. I've still got a lot of respect for this game. So, you know, like I say, I'm just spitballing about the flinch. Do you think that's got a lot to do with the shoot first, die first? Do you think once you shoot somebody in the chest and uh, maybe they're doing the same to you, if you get that shot off first, the flinch, does it take it to the head and is it a penalization if that's even a word i'll have to look that one up in the dictionary but yeah thanks for watching guys apocalypse done